There were only two this time. Two astronauts piloted the empty spaceship Enterprise back to a safe landing. Now the approach and landing tests are over. When the shuttle begins regular round trips into space next year, its boxcar-sized payload section will be loaded with satellites, scientific experiments, and mission specialists to make them work. This is the inside of the payload bay of the Space Shuttle Orbiter. Mike Smith is NASA's Director of Pricing, Launch Agreements, and Customer Engineering Services. When the doors are attached and closed, this payload bay forms a tube 60 feet long and 15 feet in diameter, about the size of a large 18-wheel tractor trailer that you see on the freeways today. Not only is this volume cavernous, but it also carries a substantial payload to orbit. On each flight, we can carry up to 65,000 pounds to orbit. A unique capability that we have with the shuttle is a remote manipulator arm that has a shoulder, elbow, and wrist, and a grasping hand which, be con which can be controlled or manipulated from the cockpit remotely. This remote manipulator arm is used to grasp a satellite in the payload bay, deploy it over the side, where the payload can then be checked out. If it's found that there's something wrong with the payload, it can be grasped replaced back in the shuttle payload bay, secured, and brought down to Earth for repair. Communication satellite users can save as much as $9 million on a launch. For a satellite launched in 1975 on a Delta rocket, the cost was approximately $14.5 million. On the space transportation system and in the space shuttle, we're able to do that same launch for approximately $5 to $6 million. Another type shuttle user will be those working on Space Lab. The experiment module fills the shuttle payload section completely. Mike Smith explains. On those particular flights, man can accompany his uh, payload to orbit. In fact, for those people advised by Space Lab flights, it is expected that they will pick and select the payload specialist of their choosing to go with their experiment in the laboratory. The Space Lab has, in addition to the habitable portion of the laboratory, a uh, set of pallets where experiments can be placed on the pallets and carried to orbit with the experimenter in the, in the module, in the habitable module. He performs his experiment there and then can remotely control those devices out on the pallet used for space research. These students from schools in the state of Utah are preparing to fly their own experiments into space starting in 1980-1981. It is part of NASA's small self-contained payload program, sometimes referred to as getaway specials. The R&D packages can weigh up to 200 pounds and measure from one and one half to five cubic feet. The cost will range from $3,000 to $10,000 with a deposit of $500 to hold the space. Enterprise, you're cleared to start to turn. In addition to schools, individuals and companies large and small are reserving future space on the shuttle. Some of the areas of greatest interest are in materials and medical research. Here are just a few of those who have already reserved space. Dow Chemical, Johnson & Johnson, Battelle Institute, British Aircraft Corporation, Magnetic Controls Company, Versa Steel Corporation, Automation Industries Associates, and the General Electric Space Division. The Shuttle Orbiter, NASA's new transportation system with space available. We'll see you a bit. Yeah, it's great. 